Hello to you. My name is Maria Konjelska and this is Poland Daily Culture. Today we continue the story about one of the most important books in the world. With me is Bartłomiej Felos, a bookseller, but a very unique bookseller from Manuscriptum Publishing House. Because you are doing something which is not done anywhere in Poland. And you take books and you prepare something which is um, a scientific copy of, of a manuscript. And we have in front of us Voynich Manuscript, which is one of the most mysterious book in the world because no one actually knows what's inside. But this is not the original one. You do a falsification or scientific copy. What is it and why are you doing it? Yeah, we belong to the uh, very rare group of publishers in the Europe uh, making um, scientific copies. Uh, this is the industry, so-called industry, and the scientific copies are made for uh, uh, museums, for the histori historians, for, uh, uh, for people who really want to make uh, experiments or want to study the old books, but they, are not, they do not have an access to the originals. We do scientific copies. Sometimes they are, these are artistic visions of the, of the originals. Sometimes they are exact facsimiles facsimiles from the Latin language, and um, uh, we are specializing in doing a scientific copies of very rare manuscripts. Uh, some of them, they are really strictly connected to Polish uh, uh, historians, hi history. But Wojnicz didn't write this manuscript, he found it, but we know it's much older, it's 600 years, and it's amazing and because it's a, it's a mystery and we don't know what's inside. So tell me please, how did you prepare this facsimile? Because it's of course, to, in order to touch it, I'm putting special gloves and so it won't get dirty. But it's, it's of course put in the, made in a way that it looks very, very old. Exactly. We have to imitate all the materials used uh, in original. Of course, this is not a parchment. At least the cards are not parchment. The cover is, uh, is a parchment. The cover is parchment. Yes. And so it's basically skin. <laughs> exactly. We use this uh, uh, very special materials uh, that helps us to imitate the original. Inside there is a pergamenata. This is the uh, kind of paper that allows us to make it as as parchment, uh, so the facture of the material, the sound of the material, the, it, it looks like uh, the, all the holes uh, and, and this destroyed parts of the manuscript we have to do uh, manually. The, the, in, inside we'll find a lot of uh, spots, a lot of holes, a lot of little things that they shouldn't be in the in a new book. So it is basically a copy of uh, how it originally looks. The original is in Yale, but of course, n like very few people can access it. But those who would like to uh, to study it and um, also spend just time with this book can do it with your help, with your facsimile. Exactly. How did you prepare that? because, as I understand, you needed to get an access to the original one. In this case, we did not have an access to the original. We, uh, there, there are a lot of materials that help us to, to, to make an artistic copy of this book. Uh, our artists, our uh, scientists, they study a lot of materials about the book. Uh, in the end of the day, uh, we put it all together uh, and made uh, uh, a, a big session of preparing uh, uh, number one, material number one, uh, that we developed. Uh, of course, uh, we have an access to the scans, to the photographs of, of, um, of the book. Uh, according to that, we created something that is an artistic facsimile uh, and allows the, the watcher to see the book, which is very close to, very, very close to the original. There is a lot of manual work uh, in this book. Uh, uh, the first, of course, we need to prepare the, the 
cards uh, which we have to print. Uh, each, each one is printed uh, according to the material that we have. Uh, then there is a lot of work how to, to make it older, to make it look like original. Uh, then our bookbinders, they work, they, they used to work on the uh, original machineries, original equipment uh, from the last century or even from the, from the 19th century. Uh, they sew the book uh, manually, uh, they cover it with the uh, parchment, uh, original parchment, which is a, a skin, a leather. Uh, in the end, of course, the, the, the book should look uh, as well um, as the original as the one, original. basically. So if the original Voynich manuscript is lost, ever, or burned, you can provide a copy which looks, almost, which looks the same, basically. It's just new and will survive longer. Exactly. No, normally, the, 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 the fax, fax of mine is an object for uh, scientists, so they can make a studies on that. So people who in the museums and who, who would like also to analyze what's inside uh, can, can work on your product. And please tell me, how many copies do you have? Um, of course, we do not uh, make, it's the, the, the produce, production is a wrong word. It's a manual process. Uh, we do not produce everything in the beginning. Uh, it's a very time consuming uh, to, to produce. How does long, how take this long to, to prepare well, one? The first copy we had to produce for, uh, we have to work on preparing of the first copy for uh, almost one year. Each specimen, it takes us um, probably a few weeks to produce. At the same time, we, we are able to produce uh, three, four copies. But uh, it's not like that, that we produce all the 600 that we sell. Uh, we produce it one by one. I understand, amazing. If anyone would like to have a copy of Voynich manuscripts, well, contact Manuscriptum Publishing House and you might be the lucky owner of one of the most mysterious book in the world. And thank you very much for watching Poland Daily Culture.